at five. If this bill had been law, our deputy might still be alive. That is what Douglas County Sheriff Tony Spurlock says tonight about the so-called red flag bill, allowing officers to seize weapons from people who are are in mental health crisis. And tonight we are keeping our promise to go 360 on the issues that matter to you. Number seven, Jacqueline Allen is looking at multiple sides on this one. Jacqueline? Well, this bill is expected to be introduced this week, and just today we learned the Legislative Committee for the County Sheriffs in Colorado voted unanimously to support it. One sheriff tells me it's a matter of life and death. We have a mental health crisis in this country and we have it in this state. Douglas County Sheriff Tony Spurlock calls himself a Second Amendment guy. I think everyone should have guns. If you want them, you can have them. Okay, with two exceptions, criminals and people in extreme mental health crisis, like the man who shot and killed Deputy Zachary Parrish on New Year's Eve, a man the sheriff's office knew was in crisis and had guns, a lot of guns, and they couldn't do anything about it. He says a so-called red flag bill being discussed right now at the state capitol might have changed everything. If this had been the law, would Zach Parrish still be alive? I like to think so. The 11 weapons that he had in his house, he would not have been able to use because they would have been security. So here's an overview. The red flag bill would give family or law enforcement a legal tool to raise a red flag if someone presents a danger to himself or others. They can go to court and get an extreme risk protection order to remove guns from that person's home. Similar measures have already passed in a handful of states and are being considered in several others. Let's go 360. Opponents concerned about constitutional rights. Dudley Brown with the Rocky Mountain gun owner stating, we are adamantly opposed to these so-called red flag laws, which are nothing more than an end run around due process. But supporters like Jane Doherty, the last time I saw Mary, who lost her sister at Sandy Hook, believe this bill could help prevent mass shootings. What we're trying to do here is save lives and somebody's right to their life should supersede somebody's right to a gun. A reality check though, mental health advocates say this bill would do more to prevent suicides and say even the NRA supports some red flag laws. This is not about gun control, it's about preventing suicide. You're not gonna prevent every tragedy, no law can do that, uh, but you can make a difference in a problem that is literally a matter of life or death. Back to Sheriff Spurlock. He says the bill has due process protections and is common sense. With a short time before the session ends, though, worries it may get bogged down with politics. But he hopes saving lives is more important. I think this bill would save lives across the board. Jacqueline Allen, Denver 7.